This is our factoring expressions lesson for MathCelebrity.com. A couple ways you can get there. The first you could type is factor. And we go to our factoring polynomial lesson here. Or if you have your expression, you can actually just type factor. We're going to start with a square. And we're going to move up. I'm going to show you all the types of terms we can factor. And then I'm going to show you a way to check to see if we don't know how to factor it and you're thinking about signing up and we don't have it, that way you can email me, I'll build it for you, and then we'll set it up. So let's start with a square. So factor x squared minus 81. So because this is a square term, the calculator figures out, okay, x squared can be, we can take the square root of it and get x, and then 81 we can take the square root and get 9. So we're factoring a difference of squares formula. And the formula for that is a minus b, a plus b. Well, a is just x in this case, and b is just 9. So we plug in our numbers, and we get x plus 9 times x minus 9. Pretty simple. So now let's do a cube. We're going to do the difference of cubes. And I didn't mention this at the beginning of the lesson, but to raise a variable to a power, you do the shift and 6 symbol, also called the caret. So we've got 27y cubed minus 64. Since we're on this lesson, we're just going to type it here and not type it in the main search engine. So we'll go ahead and press factor. So now the calculator determines 27y cubed has a cube root. That's 3y. And 64 also has a cube root. That's 4. So we have a difference of cubes. And the difference of cubes factor formula is right here. So with a equal to 3y and b equal to 4, we're going to go ahead and plug in our numbers. So AB is just 12y. A squared is 9y squared, and B squared is 16. So plugging that information in, we get this. So we have a shortcut formula for the difference of cubes, which is great. Now what about a sum of cubes? Go ahead and press factor. So the sum of cubes formula is similar. There's just a couple sign changes. So again, the cube root of 27y cubed is 3y. The cube root of 64 is 4. Here's the sum of cubes formula. Pretty simple. We just have a, or similar, we just have a, a sign change or two. So again, we calculate our a, b, our a squared, and our b squared. And here's our answer. Now, a couple of you have asked us about irrational roots, so let's go ahead and do x squared plus 81. At the beginning of the lesson we did minus, now let's do plus. So here's what's going to happen. We'll press factor. Actually, let's do one with uh, a coefficient that has a square. So let's do 100 x squared plus 81. Okay, so term 1 has a square root, that's 10x, and term 2 has a square root, that's 9. But now this isn't a difference of squares, it's actually the sum of squares. So we have irrational roots, and irrational meaning i, which is equal to square root of negative 1. So we break this down all the way using irrational roots. So this factored all the way down is 10x plus 9i times 10x minus 9i. And here's how we get that. If you take 10x times 10x, you get 100x squared, which is this. 9i times 10x minus 9i times 10x, they cancel each other out. Then the last piece, 9i times negative 9i is negative 81i squared, but i squared equals negative 1. So i squared equals negative 1 times negative 81, that's a positive 81. So that's a sum of cubes example. Now we also have rational, uh, rational expressions as well, certain rational expressions. So we'll go ahead and press factor this. So you can actually take one fraction and factor it if it's factorable. So the first thing we do is factor the numerator. And we're going to factor out a 2x from each term. And when we do that, we have this left over. So now what we're going to do is factor that remaining quadratic. We're going to go through all these steps. GCF calculator, which you can click to see how we have the 
roots and we get this. So we have 2x which we originally factored out here and then this quadratic broken down is this. So that's the numerator. That's the numerator. So now we're going to check the denominator. The denominator is 4x minus 1. Well, when we evaluate that, we can't simplify that anymore. So we're left over with the top and the bottom. And because nothing can be canceled out, this is our final expression. So now I'm going to show you the Descartes button. And what that does is... So you enter your polynomial, non-fractional of course, and we want to use the rule of signs. So we want to determine a number of real solutions to this polynomial. So we're going to go ahead and first evaluate the possible positive roots. There's one sign change from positive to negative. So we calculate the sign changes and we have one positive root. Now we calculate the possible negative roots. So we first plug in f of negative x and we get our values. So now we're going to check the sign changes. And as you can see here, there's only one from negative to positive. So we have the possi possible one negative roots. So you can pretty much enter any polynomial here in this box and press the Descartes button. And it'll use the rule of signs to figure out how many possible positive and negative roots. So that's pretty much it. If you do have any questions or enhancement suggestions, please use the contact us link. Now I'm going to show you real quick before I sign off here how to check if you're interested in signing up, but we can't, we're not able to factor an expression, how you check. So if you do something like factor blah, 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 and you do this, if it says search returned X results or zero results, then you know we didn't have it. So let's do factor X squared minus uh, 999 plus 33x. So this went to the factor page. So you know at least that we'll try to factor it. So that's how you check to see if we actually have what you need. And, and again, if we don't have what you need, the easiest way to get what you need built is go to the contact us link here and just type, um, you could type factoring and just say, hey Don, please build this expression here for the factoring lesson and send it to me and I can usually do it within a day or two. So that's it. Thanks for watching.